skills. One of the lesser known is my impressive ability to wait for things. I once stood perfectly still for 38 minutes because a bee was on my shoulder. I once waited four and a half hours to be released from a locker. Hello? Anyone there? You better wait. Don't go away. One time, when Dr. Sturgis was late for a lecture, I stayed longer than everyone. Where are you all going? The professor's not here. I can teach the class. I just need a box to stand on. Dr. Sturgis? Hello, Sheldon. What brings you here? You never showed up to class. Whoops. Time flies when you're having fun. What could be more fun than giving a physics lecture? Finishing a physics paper. Ooh, I like where this is headed. I'm exploring the notion that time itself is quantized. Interesting. That sounds like a step towards a unified field theory. Fingers crossed. Although, I can't cross my fingers. Arthritis. <laughs> It's too dark back here. Do you have a flashlight? In the glove box, I think. Can you pass it back? No, I'm driving. All right, I'm coming up. Don't crash while I'm unbuckled. Really? You need to do this right now. It's Dr. Sturgis's first paper in years. It's worth risking head trauma. Look. Look at you climbing like a real boy. Here we go. A reconsideration of the role of time operators in quantum mechanics. Grabby title. I'll wait for the movie. Ooh, he's opening with a critical examination of the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. That reading in the car made you nauseous. That's in the back seat. Up here, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sheldon. Sorry. Well, don't just keep reading. <laughs> I'm glad Dr. Sturgis let me read his paper before he published. Why's that? He's getting numbers for the mass of neutrinos that are in excess of 100 giga electron volts. Well, good for him. No, it's embarrassing. He had a 50-50 shot. I guess I need to call and let him know what a bonehead mistake he made. There's probably a nicer way to say it. Did you hear how massive his neutrinos were? We're well into bonehead territory. Sheldon, you don't need to be rude to him. When am I rude? <laughs> Stay a child as long as you can. Adulthood will not be kind to you. Me, the veins on your calf look like a roadmap of Texas. Did you make this taste bad so Dad would lose weight? Fine, I'll be polite. But I still think we could go to San Antonio using Meemaw's leg. 